Hey there, Abiding Fam, and welcome back to my channel. Today, we are going to have so much fun playing with one of my favorite supplies, which is watercolor paint. But these aren't any watercolor paints. They are metallic watercolors. You guys know that I am always a fan of a little shimmer and shine, and you get so much beautiful glimmer and glitz from these metallic watercolor paints. I can't wait to share them with you. So this is going to be sort of part review, part meditative color swatching because I am going to play some beautiful clips for you of just putting the watercolor down on paper as we swatch them together. And then at the end of this video, we are going to create something using these watercolors. We're going to make a bookmark. So if all of that sounds good to you, definitely stay tuned. But first, before you can jump into painting, you have to go ahead and unwrap all of the little individual watercolors. This is like unwrapping candy for me, seeing all of the colors when you take off the packing. I love it. So what I did is when I took off the package, rather than throwing it away because the color name is on that little wrapping, I actually put it on the bottom and then just snipped off the edges so that way I have the name attached to the color so if ever I move them around or I choose to take them out of this pan and maybe put them into a bigger pan with other watercolors that way I always know that these are Arteza watercolors and the individual names for that individual watercolors. So after I went ahead and undressed them and put the names on the backs, then they all were there in all of their beautiful glory, just waiting for a little bit of water to bring them to life. Now it is time for everybody's favorite part of getting new paints or markers or any colorful art supplies is doing the color swatches. So for my swatches, I will be using just a plain watercolor brush and a glass of water so that way I can really clean my brush effectively rather than using the Arteza water brush that comes with the paint. But I will say that I have reviewed these Arteza water brushes actually before on my channel. I will link the journal with me where I do that in the cards for you. And they are the best water brushes I have ever used. For on the go, when you need the water already handy in your brush, they are phenomenal. And already fam, you can see how stunningly beautiful these metallic watercolors are. What you're looking for in a metallic is the way that it plays with the light, right? So right now you can see how just by moving the paper that slight amount, it totally changes the color because of the metallic nature of these paints. It looks different when the light plays off of it and how you move it around. And that is everything I could want and more in metallic paints. I also love these because like any other watercolor, it's something that you can build up. So rather than having a metallic acrylic paint that when you put it down, it's pretty much just going to be that color and that's the way it's going to look, you can really play with metallic watercolors by building up the paint and changing how opaque or how transparent you choose to make it. Now I personally find swatching watercolors and paints very therapeutic. So I think I'm going to fade into the background a little bit here and just let you enjoy the beautiful colors landing on the paper and the movements of the brush without me talking in the background. So I will join you again when I've finished these swatches.
wasn't that so therapeutic and mesmerizing? So here are the colors before they have had a chance to dry and then once they're completely dried you can really see how they come to life and play in the light. It is so beautiful. I am obsessed. I am ready to shout Arteza's name from the hilltop. You guys know that I am a big fan of so many of their art supplies, but these might be my new favorite. And I know many of you are already itching to get your own, so there is a link for these down in the description box that you can check out. And even though this video is not sponsored by Arteza in any way, they were kind enough to give me a coupon code for you guys. So that is down there in the description box too, so make sure if you do go and check out their website that you use that code before making any purchases. Now before you go and scurry away too fast to make those purchases, let's actually put these to the test and try to make something with them. As I mentioned in the beginning, I thought it would be fun to make a bookmark and because metallics seem to have such a powerful effect when put onto a black background, I decided to use just this plain black construction paper that I happen to have and play with the watercolor on this. Now I'm gonna be doing wet on wet so that all of the colors really blend together because what I'm actually gonna do is kind of create what you see on the box there. I am going to create a night sky and then put some trees in front of it. So I just went ahead and started painting and plopping is really the way to make a night sky. So I put down just a layer of the water and then went in and made each of the paints that I wanted to use nice and wet and then just started plopping them onto the paper. Now this paper is not watercolor paper so it did buckle a little bit but I knew it would flatten out once it dried and because I would then be putting it into a little bookmark sleeve which I'll show you in a little bit I knew it wouldn't be an issue. And something I didn't mention earlier about the actual setup of these paints is how nice it is to have a mixing pan within the actual palette and box that you're using. This is common in many watercolor pans, but what was unique about this one is that you actually get two surfaces of mixing because the lid flips up and then there's another mixing pan underneath that as well. So I really liked that feature and it allowed me to combine these colors to create this really pretty metallic silvery purple that I thought looked really nice in this night sky I was creating. I hope as you were watching that you picked up on how easy it is to create this effect using these watercolors. It is literally just plopping the paint onto the paper. Anybody can do it and when it dries, no matter how you plopped, it is going to look beautiful because it's shimmery and glitzy and glimmer and what could possibly be better than all of that. So as you can see, I didn't stop there because I was making this bookmark actually for Ben, my husband, for our one year anniversary since paper is the traditional gift for the first year of your marriage. So I went ahead and stamped these black trees onto the end of the bookmark, actually just like the box for the Arteza uh, watercolors it looks like, which wasn't truly was not intentional, but I basically just recreated the Arteza box that the watercolors came in. So go ahead and look for inspiration wherever you may find it. And I, again, didn't stop there with just stamping, but I wanted to emboss it to add even more fun with playing with the light and texture and making it really pop and stand out. So I just embossed it with some of my embossing powder and you can see there how beautiful, what a great effect that is. It really makes it stand out and I did that on both sides. So here guys is the finished bookmark and I did want to make sure that this beauty was protected from any elements. 
and of course because it is watercolor it helps to put it into a protective sleeve oh i also wanted to mention that i put our little date on there so for our one year anniversary that was the date which i thought was a nice little touch and then once it was finished it was time to put it into its sleeve and i just wanted to add a little bit of fringe for lack of a better word the thing that's gonna like stick out of the top of the book so i just played with some of this paper twine that i had and tied it on there and then unraveled it uh, so that it was just lots of little strings sticking out and i just thought it, it added a fun little element to the bookmark so that you had something of interest sticking out of the book when the book is closed and then when you open it up you can see the beautiful handiwork of these metallic watercolors and all of our hard work so i hope that this was inspiring for you guys i hope that i haven't enabled you too much but at the same time i want to just tell you to treat yourself it's a hard time we're living in and if you want to go and buy some metallic watercolors for yourself, this is me giving you permission. So thank you for watching. I look forward to sharing more art videos and so much more with you guys here on my channel in the future. If that sounds good to you, please subscribe and join the Abiding Fam and keep exploring your abiding creativity and of course document a life full of abiding faith, hope, and love. And I will see you in the next one.